Morgans to show you today. These are the Orla GT8000s. Now, there's only one difference, which you could say is quite small, you could say is quite important, and that is that this is the GT8000, and this one over here is the GT8000 DLX. Now, the DLX doesn't mean a great deal of differences in um, things that you can visibly see, because we have the name on it, we have this little block of four adjusters, which are um, like in a graphic EQ, and we have an uprated speaker system. So I'm gonna just show you on this one, and then I'll just jump across and show you some differences. But essentially the whole layout, all the keyboards, everything is exactly the same. Uh, they're quite a slimline keyboard, Borgen. Um, they give you a, an octave of bass pedals, like many of you will be familiar with. I've got my shorts on, sorry, it's the summer. And um, we've got on here different color coded sections on the instrument, which will make it very easy to select your own sounds. So we have, um, a blue section, which is your special section, special presets. We have an upper orchestra two and an upper orchestra one. So that's our three brightly coloured sections. And then I have a white section, which is your organ draw bars, which over here we can bring out and give you the organ sound. So it's very much based around a traditional organ. The difference is there are lots and lots of presets that make it very, very easy to use. And they're all based in this area over here. And there is a uh, a lot of categories, electric organ, theatre organ, classical organ, combo, orchestra, band, and overall presets. Now the beauty of this is it makes it so easy to select a very good registration very easily, but we can use them in two ways. If you play your bass pedals, then that means we can go into one of these and it will set it all up for us, including the bass pedals to play manually. But if you don't want to play your bass pedals and maybe play it more keyboard style, then we have a button here called automatic setup. And the way the automatic setup works is it gives you automatic bass. The left hand then triggers off the bass line. So it makes it easy either way. So all the buttons sort of double up really. And we can use them really for two sets of uses. Either automatic setup with a style and the one touch settings. Or for setting each section um, manuals separately so we can play it as a proper org. So we have two choices and that makes it very versatile. So I'm going to go through some of the sounds. I'm just going to use one section. I don't want to bore you with too many demonstrations and playing too many sounds, but we'll go into the band section. And the band section has um, these two rows of buttons, as is with all the categories. And we have a button on the end that says A or B. Now, if we've got A, we've got eight variations. And if we go to B, we've got eight more variations. And what you can also do, which is quite clever, is you can lock the accompaniment so that that all stays on well, then you can change everything else. And um, that means that you can have two uses for all of the buttons or many uses. So we'll come in, we'll start off with the A1 button. And on the screen, you can see it reads Miller Reed 1. So Glenn Miller, that's gonna be the sound of. So if I play something Glenn Miller wise, um, we'll go into... Um to the second one here which is um, number two and that's Glenn Miller again but that will be good for um automatic setup let's go through the same again now number one I'll put on the automatic setup button and I'll stop playing my pedals this time an intro will also start <laughs> Two, we're 
number two now. Again, put on the automatic set at this time. Number three again, number three, automatic setup. <laughs> through and set it all up for me each time and made it very very easy to use. Now then I'm going to get through some other suggestions to show you. Let's go into, we'll stay on band, we'll go to the B which is basically the, the second lot of, of uses for these buttons here. And number one, uh, it's called Last Morning on here but it's a very good setting for memory from cats. So I'll put on my automatic setup, play my chord, beautiful introduction, settings. Let's go to B2 this time. This says slow Dixie, so I'll play a chord, put my automatic setting on. Others. sort of Dixie one, auto. Really good backing, it's really, really good. settings in there too. Now let's go to another. Number eight is a really good 6-8 march. So I'll put my auto on again and I'll play my chord. <laughs> Now let's go on to um, just some other suggestions of things you can do on here. We know we've got all these different categories and they all give us 16 different settings. If we turn off this automatic setup and just use it as an organ again, we've got at the top here electric organ, we've also got theatre organ and classical organ. And these give us really good sound batches just made up for us where we don't need to necessarily use the rhythm but it gives us a really good setting regardless. So if I was to go into uh, electric organ, Let's just choose some of the stuff to show you. That's just one, that's the uh, uh, 
electronic organ sound. Let's go into another part of it. go to one more um, thing to show you about how all these presets make it very easy to jump between how you want to play. So if we go to the combo section and we go into A number one, this is the piano quartet. So the piano quartet, really good piano. becomes a piano quartet but we still have a really good combo backing so if I go to automatic now and I play my chord totally different but it's another option If I get number two in this same combo batch, um, it's called Late Night Sax, so let's have a listen to this. Setup, late night jazz is very different. Still 
works really well though. Press the automatic button and play it. through today has really gone anywhere than further than just the automatic um, registrations. We've got all the sections we can choose from hundreds of sounds um, but we don't need to and that's that's a really important fact is that just to get playing get your piece of music out and choose a selection there is something there that makes it very very easy to use and I think that's the big thing with a lot of these modern organs now is they're giving you lots of preset registrations to make it as simple as possible to use. We can still go and we've got lots of rhythms if you look at this panel here, we've got a, a whole choice of rhythms that we can go from. Each rhythm has three variations. Each uh, style button has three choices. And then we've also got um, choices of drum kits. We've got how much reverb. We've got the, um, the automatic melody harmony that it will play for us. We've got a couple of fill-ins we can use. We've got synchro start, intro endings, just like you've been familiar with on previous models. But it's very, very easy because if we don't want to go into what sound mixes of what sound and what lower sound should I use, we can just pick a category and that's it. Now, the two models we've got here, this is called the GT8000. This is the 8000 DLX. And there's quite a big jump when you get to the DLX because it has better speakers. And this section up here um, gives us the uh, frequency variation. So it's a bit like an EQ on a stereo where you bring the bass or the treble up to make it a bigger sound. So if I was to play it in its sort of low down flat position, which is what we're getting on the standard 8000, if I just go to a sound, let's just go to this one. Go to theatre. setting and I'll go into um, let's go to modern flute uh, modern jazz flute I'll put my accompaniment on this is it in the sort of flatter position that you'll get a standard on the 8000 <laughs> volume but it's
it's also the richness of the sound. So if I'm playing with the drum pane, I can bring the, the how it would be on the 8000, but I can listen a bit more clearly to the instruments of that drum kit. If I use the fill-ins compared to so it brightens and enhances the sound. It's like a, a bass boost and a treble boost, and it gives you that big, richer sound. So we've also got on here an output volume and a microphone volume. If you're playing through and you're plugging a microphone in, you want to be able to just control the volume from the panel. And if you're going through bigger speakers, you've got an output of how much is gonna go through those extra speakers. But essentially, the instrument, apart from that, is the same. The speakers on this model are better, and the, the chance to change the frequencies gives us a little bit more control if we want some sounds, you might play a sound and think, well, oh, that's a bit shrill. We can just tone it down a little bit. But if you think I quite like a bit more presence and a bit more richness to a, a solo trumpet or a clarinet or something, that's where it, it's quite an option thing. So the DLX is the higher model in the range, better, richer sound, and a bit more control by using these two, which enhances it. It doesn't just like make it louder, it enhances the treble and the bass of the sound. So this is the DLX, the GT8000 DLX, and this one here is the the standard GG8000. Hope you've enjoyed that. Do us give us a call if you want any help or information. We can part exchange your old instrument if you'd like to upgrade to one of these two models. And have a look on our website epianos.co.uk for more information. I hope you found that useful.